Hi YouTube land, today we're gonna test the EOS M50 against the Huawei P30 Pro. We're gonna do a time lapse, we're gonna do wind test, we're gonna do a pan and zoom test, we're gonna do a stability test and a slow motion test and see which one comes out better. Let's go! So now for the wind test, we got on this side, we got the EOS M50 with the Rode Video Micro plugged in and the Dead Cat. So probably not a lot of wind coming from this fan, but we go through the paces, one, two, and three, and see how it reacts. On the other side, we have the P30 Pro with only the internal mic. So let's put in, put in, new, let's push button one and see how both react. So, now you're listening to the EOS M50 and what this wind does to this Rode microphone. Let's switch now over to the P30 Pro and listen to the internal mic. Well, let's set it to level 2 on the P30 Pro. You probably hear a bit more noise. Now we're going to switch over to the EOS M50 and probably I think you'll still hear clearly my voice with the regular sound that's coming over this van. But now, the last test, level 3. EOS M50 is now what you're hearing. Take it in. Do you hear it? Let's now switch to the P30 Pro and listen to the sound of the internal microphone. And I don't know if this is hearable, if you will. And now for the last test, it's really get it close to the action. Eels M50.
So conclusion time. So the first set we did was a time lapse. What I can see is that the picture quality is better. Maybe it's to your own taste, but the picture of the EOS M50 is better than the P30. Also, the EOS M50 has a lot of more options that you can set into creating your time lapse. So I think that it's a plus for the EOS M50. Next, we did the slow motion test. Uh, although the picture quality might be better from the EOS M50, the P30, you got more options. You can, uh, you can have 120 with full HD resolution. Uh, you can do a 960, if I'm not mistaken, on a 720p resolution. As for uh, yeah, the EOS M50, you can only do uh, uh, 120 frames per minute on 720p. So, okay, you have more possibilities with the P30 Pro. Uh, next, we did a wind test, but that's not a fair wind test because uh, I, it was the internal mic against the road, so skip that. But if you look at the picture quality, uh, I think the picture quality was better. So in overall, the picture quality of the EOS M50 is better. So next we did next this uh, a pan and a zoom test. Well, I, I think that the panning of the P30 Pro is more stuttering and it's a bit more smooth with the EOS M50, although I don't think it's the smoothest I ever seen. Uh, the last test was, uh, oh no, I also did the zoom of course, and with the zoom, uh, that's clear winner for the ESM30. Okay, it depends on what lens you have on it, but uh, you can really smooth zoom to something as where with the P30 Pro, it's just when you do it manually, it's uh, very stuttering. And if you do it by, by 5X and 10X, it's just like instant, but then you have this picture changing, the colors, the, the, it has to adjust. So it's zooming on a P30 Pro. You can do it, but for movie, mm -mm, no, no. And the last thing, stability. And yes, the P30 Pro blows away the M50 in every category. Yes, you can debate if, if you think that the picture quality is better, but you can always change things in post. But oh my God, the stability of the P30 Pro rocks. I cannot say that the M50 can match that at all, even with the enhanced setting and in stabilization with the uh, lens that I use, it's just in this case the kit lens. It is a definitely P30 Pro winner in case of stability. Well, there you have it. See you next time. Bye bye.